Good morning, everyone. Welcome to 2023 Incarnation Daily Devotion. I'm Pastor CJ, and may God's peace be with you, and may the Word of God work in you today. June 3rd, Saturday, Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 through 20. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always, to the end of the age. Amen. Here's some Christian math. One, one, and one equals one. Our God is both three distinct persons and one God. This may seem an outdated or useless head trip. But understanding God as Trinity undergirds core Christian values and affects concrete practices in life and community. Things like unity in diversity, the sacred worth of every person, mutuality, self-giving love, justice, and interdependence all find their theological grounding in the Trinity. Even so, Jesus' Great Commission isn't about getting people to declare their belief in the Trinity or any doctrine. Rather, the invitation is to enter a new way of life. To be baptized in the name of our triune God is to become part of a messy, diverse, grace-fueled community that tries to follow the way of love and justice revealed by Jesus. And this communal life is interconnected and interdependent. We, who are many, are one. But these days, one, one, and one make three opposing factions. And unity is often equated with sameness or likeness of mind. But in Matthew 28 and 7, we see that those closest to Jesus aren't all on the same page. Some are openly doubtful right in Jesus' presence after the resurrection. Following this revelation of doubt, Jesus extends the great commission to all present. Those who doubted weren't rebuked. They didn't get their disciple membership revoked or their place in the commissioning service canceled. Clearly, the goal is not unity through intellectual agreement. Doubt is possible, even expected, because the main point is not to believe a certain set of teachings, but to enter a relationship. Doubt or difference of opinion do not exclude you from being called into the life for which you are created, the life that reflects God's own life of love, justice, and joy, the life that makes we, who are many, one. Let's pray. Triune God, help our lives reflect yours. Amen. Once again, thank you for joining this morning, and I hope to meet you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.